Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Monday, October 18, 2021. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report. Quick update, short one tonight. Just want to take you guys right to uh, our report on the 17th. I think that was Sunday. You can see short-term report. And you can see here we were looking for ideally 44.81. And if not, we said if I could get it to stop here, it could also go higher than 44.81. In that case, the Fibonacci 7.86 retracement level lies above at 44.88. That was Sunday. Flip to the S&P. Here is the hourly. Here is Monday the 18th. And there is the high right near the close at 4488.75 yet another direct hit okay so uh let's just do a little review here a little fibonacci work if you will let's get a retracement there's the all-time high 4545 there's the low there is the fibonacci 786 at 4488 there is the direct hit let's put some labels in here for you guys if I can get to the right thing here, let's get to the A wave down, which is a, a 1 and a 2. And we're going to do the primary count only here, 3, 4, and 5. And that will be an A, B, C of a larger trend. So, excuse me, that down is A, that up is B, and we'll just set C there for now. And this uh, B wave up subdivides into an ABC so we'll put this here there's our A there's our B there's our C that is too big of a trend it can't be the same so let's train change that degree to sub micro and there we go let me move that A out of the way there is the B everything to plan okay what's our make or break the all-time high 4545 we're right up against it there's not a lot of room there as I said before, when it goes above the 786, the uh, B or second waves can retrace less than 100. They cannot trace more than 100. Normally, when they go above 786, they do go above the 100. We'll have to see how it goes. If it goes higher from here, if it turns around and shows its respect for the Fibonacci 786 retracement level. Where is it going? Okay, well, let's get a... A beat on that if we can we'll get an extension here see if I can get this close let's see we've got an A down here there we go and a B up there it's right on the line all I gotta do is match the lines up right and there is C equals A at 42.21 and we've got a 1618 at 4056 I threw that 1.272 in there for that uh, expanded flat which is still a valid count okay but, uh, and then again, our uh, bullish count is a uh, one, two, one, two, three. So if there's a four down, it would have to, well, let me put that in there for you guys. I'll just do the, uh, the, the lower one. This is one, two, three could still go higher. It'd be higher. It'd be three, four, and five. I'm going to throw in the uh, larger degree next. Okay. Just. In case this does go higher, that's one, that's two, and we're going to put three, four, and five up there. We'll change that degree of trend to one larger. Make that sub micro. There we go. Okay. So in the bullish count, we have um, a one, two. Oh, I got that in the wrong place, don't I? We've got a one and then a one, two, three. Okay. So uh, that two belongs down here. My apologies. Okay, so we have a 1 and a 2, and then a 1, you can see it's right there by the A, a 2, and then a 3, 4, and 5, okay? If this starts to go down and it breaks below this, what would be in the bullish count, a wave 1 high of 44.29, then it cannot be a 4. So we have parameters pretty tight. We have 44.29 here to the downside. We have 45.45 to the upside. One of these is going to give way, if not tomorrow, then this week for sure. Okay, we break down here, and we're, we're probably going to go down to our targets, 42.20 and 41, uh, 40.56. That's a long way, but uh, 
it's a short time to get there too because we got turn dates coming up this Friday, Monday, and all of next week, the 22nd through uh, November 1st, Friday, and then all of next week and the Monday after. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. There's the tight window there to the upside. There's the tight window there to the downside, and we'll see where this, excuse me, plays out. Let me throw C down here. There we go. I wanted to touch on real quick here too, the bigger picture. We needed a break of that uh, that August low. And by the way, these are all like 18 or 19, kind of weird. But uh, as soon as we got that August 19, a break of that low, then we went short for our uh, our um, services that uh, rate our newsletter for our subscribers. Oh, by the way, yeah, I wanted to mention you guys that too. I uh, want to thank you guys for um, liking the channel. And let's see, do we have the video up here? And uh, subscribing, thank you. And... Reminder bell so you don't miss one of our alerts and the like button. There we go. Yeah, we did a little reboot, right? Got that going. Anyway, we're looking for a break of this uh, August low. Oh, and what are we? My apologies for getting off here, but uh, there's our subscription services. Some people liked, they wanted to see a video on demand uh, trading video. I've already got a couple of them up there. Um, I think it was 15 videos and reports, and I update, update those pretty much monthly but there's a subscription services we offer and then I wanted to give you guys our uh, our disclaimer and our awards over the years you can see there there we go I wanted to get into the bigger picture and there's the daily again we we're talking about breaking that uh, August that was the 19th low and then we've got the July 19th low then we've got the June 18th low and then we get in here to the May. Now, these are all 18 and 19. See these little dips down here? But anyway, we're looking for um, a correction of the entire advance from at least the March 2020 lows. But you can see here's our targets here. So when we break through and get where C equals 1, and that should be there or there, we'll put it there. We will break that July low, and we may in turn break the June low. And that would be a nice resting spot for it right there, wouldn't it? A 1.618 right above 4,000. This uh, previous decline right here, that would be a good place for it to end, or at least that part of it. And I want to show you guys, this ABC is just part of a larger ABC, okay? So let me get that up here too. Okay, so this A down, B up, C down is a larger A, and I'll fix that. Okay, so we'll get a bigger degree of trend here. Degree, it'll be above micro. It'll be sub minuet. Okay, so this A, B, C will equal A, and then B, and then C, and that could even be a larger trend, degree of trend. We'll have to see it play out, okay? But this is what we're looking at. Get back to the basics here on the one-hour chart. There's our targets. There's our make or breaks, 45-45. 48.88, dead on. We'll see if it holds or if this thing creeps up further or tries to get over 100 or not and then uh, break the bull count. If that one breaks, it'll be the third one in less than a week. But we keep putting the bullish count up there for the bulls. So uh, we'll see if it can uh, with, can withstand the heat. Okay, we'll see what happens. And until next time, take care, everyone.